In today's video, I'd like to focus in on two specific stocks which are reporting earnings in 10 business days. The first stock is going to be Walmart, and the second stock we'll take a look at is Home Depot, ticker symbol HD. Now, you'll also notice that we have a pre-earnings analysis indicator loaded in here. This is a new indicator that we released over the weekend. This is free for all Volatility Box members. You can download it on our website, tosindicators.com slash indicators slash pre hyphen earnings. Just like all of our other premium tools, you don't need to pay extra for this. All you need to do is make sure you're logged in with your Volatility Box credentials and head on over to this URL, click the download button, and you can then go ahead and import it into Thinkorswim. In case you're curious around how the indicator is built, the full 33 minute tutorial is also linked right here, which you can watch and review and use to practice your own thing scripting skills. All right, now let's get into using the indicator to analyze the two stocks we're looking at, Walmart and Home Depot. I currently have our pre-earnings days set to 10. You can change this number if you're looking at other stocks which have different days left into earnings, but for right now, we'll stick with 10 where Walmart and Home Depot fit that criteria. Now inside of Walmart, we're currently loaded in on a five year, one day time frame chart. At the end of this video, I'll repeat the same exercise using a 20 year analysis for more data points. But let's start with something simple first with the five year analysis. Now using the indicator here, you'll see a few different labels at the top. And let me drag this down just so we can keep this a little cleaner. First off, we have how many days into earnings we're actually focusing in on. Second off, we have two sets of labels. The first is around price, and the second is around our IV analysis, implied volatility. We'll start first with our price analysis inside of Walmart, where we have a grand total of 20 earnings we're looking at, and out of those 20 earnings, 15 of them, prices tended to rise into earnings 10 days before earnings. So that's about 75% of the time. On average, the move that we tend to rise into earnings is about 3.52%. So this tells you that 75% of the time, Walmart has a tendency for price action, at least in Walmart, to rise into earnings. Is the same true for implied volatility? Well, let's take a look. Inside of implied volatility, the same 20 earnings, 14 times, so one less time than uh, price, uh, implied volatility has risen into earnings, and on average, about 9.08%. So using both of these labels, that tells you that price action in Walmart has a tendency to rise into earnings, along with implied volatility, meaning you'd like to be long Vega and long Delta in terms of actual options or the Greeks. Now, if we repeat a similar exercise inside of Home Depot here, so I'll switch over to Home Depot, you should notice very similar numbers here, which I find interesting is both Walmart and Home Depot have very similar tendencies here. The 20 year analysis is where Home Depot, I think, is a little bit stronger, but we'll get to that in a second. Now inside of Home Depot, let's start first with the price analysis. 15 times out of the past 20, price has tended to rise into earnings 10 days before earnings. On average, that move is about 3.47%. So very similar to Walmart, Home Depot also has a tendency to rise into earnings. Anytime it's fallen, that move is a little bit less than when price rises. The average fall move is about negative 2.75%. So we have that first check mark in terms of our overall delta. Now if we move on to implied volatility, Inside of uh, Home Depot, 14 times of that same 70% of the time, implied volatility tends to rise into earnings, on average about 8.85%, tends to fall into earnings about negative 13.1%. Now if we expand both of these out from 5 years down to 20 years instead, so let's go to 20 years, click OK, and we'll start with Home Depot first. You'll notice that we now have substantially more earnings we're looking at. 32 earnings uh, in terms of our rise, 24 earnings in times of our fall. On per, uh, a percentage basis, that's about 57% of the time. Price action inside of Home Depot tends to rise. On average, that move is about 4%. Implied volatility, 64% of the time tends to rise. And on average, about 12.34%. So again, that same pattern tends to hold true. We're now adding more and more data points to see, what well, was this uh, true for only the past five years? Or has this pattern of price action and implied volatility rising been true for a greater period of time? So that's Home Depot. If I switch this over to Walmart, take a look at Walmart using the same uh, lens now, 20 years. You'll notice inside of Walmart, 55% of the time, price action tends to rise, headed into earnings 10 days again. On average, that move is less than Home Depot, about 2.72%. So a little bit smaller, but that same pattern of our rises being greater on average compared to our falls continues to hold true. Now, if we switch over to implied volatility, here the pattern inside of implied volatility is a little bit stronger. 
73% of the time, using a 20-year analysis, implied volatility tends to rise into earnings inside of Walmart, and that's on average about a 10.25% increase in the IV component of that particular ticker, and it tends to fall about 26% of the time for on average a fall move of negative 8.3%. So here inside of Walmart, the same two tendencies again happen to be true over the past 20 years of both price and implied volatility tending to rise into earnings, and you can start to change this uh, for whatever custom number of days you may be looking at. For example, instead of 10 days, you may be looking at switching this over to something like, say, 7 days, repeating that same 20-year uh, analysis to see, well, should you actually be entering these positions 7 days into earnings, giving it a bit more time, or is having an earlier entry actually beneficial? And if you take a look here, contracting the days from 10 days to 7 days, the same patterns tend to overall still hold true. 56% of the time, price tends to rise. 43% of the time, price tends to fall. Our implied volatility is still fairly strong with 69%, uh, about 8.26% rise on average. So there's not too much of a difference between 10 and 7 days to earnings, where now you can use things like pullbacks to the ADMA, more traditional methods to try and find ideal entries, where you can take advantage of these patterns and now know exactly how the earnings personality of your favorite stocks are headed into earnings, along with then use the smarter earnings indicator, which is completely free for everyone, to know how it trades on the actual day of earnings. The last piece left for this trifecta is the post earnings move, which is another tutorial that may be coming out in the future as well. All right, take care, everyone. I hope this video was helpful. Again, for all Volatility Box members, you can download this indicator for free on our URL, tosindicators.com slash indicator slash pre hyphen earnings. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading this earnings season, and we'll see you in the next update.